Let's bring it back. Raise your hand if you thought she was a little crazy or just was in love. His posture gives it all away. Christopher Norris sits relaxed in this chair at the front of his classroom. Nothing's conventional about the way he teaches. He even has a unique reason behind why he teaches. Honestly, I was a terrible student when I was young. Um, I was one of those kids that the teachers hated. That struggle in the classroom at a young age carried him here in front of his own students. Mr. Norris wanted to reach kids who reminded him of himself. Uh, so when I got older, I needed a good steady job. I had a wife and kids and I was tired of doing the retail thing. So I ended up uh, thinking about what I wanted to do and I was like, well, I could probably help the kids that were like me. There are a lot of bright students in this class at Fort Caroline, but they credit Mr. Norris for their success. In his class, we're allowed to be ourselves and stuff, and we're able to talk about serious topics or stuff like that without anybody feeling any type of way or anything like that. While Mr. Norris is highly deserving of recognition for his duties in the class, he believes there are many more of his colleagues to be praised. There's so many teachers at this Fort Carolina Middle School that are so impressive that uh, it's nice to be acknowledged, but it's it's... It's like when those people are nominated and they're the, the worst actor out of them all and they, they win it and everybody look at them like, how do you win that? That's me right there. But yeah. <laughs> and if you need advice on how to get here, Mr. Norris says it's authenticity with the students. My advice, honestly, uh, is, is reach out to the kids and develop those relationships. Um, that's honestly, that's where it starts. Destiny McKeever, First Coast News, on your side. Yeah, her, that's what I'm saying. She took her crew and left.